Malakanang sees no problem with the looming change in the Senate leadership, its spokesman said on Friday. This was after 14 senators from the majority bloc closed ranks this week agreed to name Sen. Vicente, Tito, Sato third, the next Senate president, replacing Aquilino, Coco, Pimentel third. In a Skype interview with Malacan Young reporters, Palace spokesman Harry Roque said President Rodrigo Duterte respected the decision of the senators. Nira Respeto Naman Po Naman Ankarapata and Ng MGA Senator Napumiliang Kaniling Pinuno, we respect the rights of the senators to choose their leader, Roque said, so Hindi Po Nagahima Sakang Presidente at Ann Palacio Dian Sa Proceso Wing Pag Biliang Bugong Senate President, he added. So the president does not interfere with the process of electing a new Senate president, but Roque said he believed that the close relationship between the deterred administration and the Senate would not change, citing Sato as an ally of the president. Ako Naman Poain and Nina Walla at Nina Walla Poang Palacio Nakahit Sino Pong Mahala na Senate President, adding Belita Poai Sen. Tito Sato, and Apocalypse at Din Pong Kailiato Si Sen. Tito Sato at Wallapong Mag Babago Sa Malapit Na Sa Mahan at Sa Cupris Ayan Nanagayon Po Ay Mayroon Sa Panaging Senado at Ing Malakan Yang, he said. I also believe and the President also believe that whoever is elected as Senate President, and I heard it's Sen. Tito Sato, he is an ally, and there will be no changes in the close relations HP and cooperation between the Senate and Malacan Yang. On Wednesday, 14 out of 23 senators signed a resolution electing Sato as the next Senate president. The manifesto states, by majority vote of all the senators, Senator Vicente C. Sato III is hereby elected as the new Senate president to discharge the duties and powers granted to him by the rules of the Senate, Pimentel called for a majority caucus on Monday, May 21st to discuss the transition. He previously denied that there had been an agreement between him and Sato on this reorganization. Senators still have to determine if the transition will happen in July or August, a date Pimentel refused to confirm. Pimentel was elected Senate leader in 2016 at the start of the 17th Congress. He is also president of the ruling PDP Laban Party. Sato, meanwhile, has campaigned against illegal drugs since he entered politics as vice mayor of Quezon City in 1998 during the height of his career as an actor and musician. Catherine S. Valente, 